Hi guys, so today we're looking at a setting powder from Revolution. Now, on the website, this is listed as the Eye Bright setting powder. Then on the box, it's the Powder Bright Brightening Breast Powder. And it does say that you can use it either to set under your eyes, set and brighten under your eyes, or to touch up throughout the day, which is strange. Anyway, so what it says online, first of all it says that it's £8 um, and you get 2.6 grams. It's in this matte packaging, which I don't associate with brightening products, I really associate with mattifying products. So that's strange for me. But what it says is, tired eyes, this is your wake up call. Revolution Eye Bright Setting Powder is here to help you hold it down all day. Brighten areas of your face while mattifying and highlighting. The finely milled pressed powder is perfect for taking away that unwanted shine while still leaving you looking bright and refreshed throughout the day. Perfectly paired with the Revolution Eye Bright Concealer, specifically formulated to target under eye circles, offering flexible buildable coverage with a max level hit of vitamin C to actively treat the area as you can see. That's about the concealer, that's not about the powder. Um, so yeah, basically it tells you, put on your concealer, use a sponge or brush and lightly dust it on top, um, leave for a minute and dust away excess. Um, yeah, so that's what we've got. I've tried it out for a second, one of my under eyes today so we can do a comparison and towards the end of the day when I'm not really going anywhere, I will try it as a setting powder. Brightening isn't usually my jam. I'm matte all the way so I'm hesitant to just go straight in using this all over my face but when it gets near the end of the day my makeup's coming off anyway we'll totally have a play and see how it does but let's see how it sets the under eyes first of all okay so I've got my foundation brush just to make sure I've got the last minute check that I've got no creasing before I set this and I'll set my eyes looking surprised um, so this isn't a really unusual packaging. It's a very matte finish for a brightening powder. Um, so yeah, a little bit strange. So it's white. We're hoping it's translucent, but I'm pale, so it'll be fine for me anyway. Um, I'm just taking a little bit. That may be a big bit on my brush. And we're going to set under there. Ta-da! And then I'm going to get my RCMA powder and set the rest of my face in my other eye because we always like to have a comparison. Because it's not just whether it works, it's whether it works better than a normal everyday powder to bother having two products. That's my opinion anyway, so... Um, yeah. Um, okay, I mean, um, it's looking pretty significantly better already. Maybe it is worth it. Uh, so we'll see how it holds up throughout the day, um, whether there's any creasing, and I guess we'll come back. The time just now, is, ooh, it's 10 to 11. My bad. I was filming a few things this morning, so it's taking me forever to get ready. But, fingers crossed, this holds up, cause, oh my god, that made, that made so much difference. I mean, if I turn my head right down like that, you can still see the shadow, but nowhere near as much as that. So, oh. Let's have some more of it. No, I'm not going to keep building up. Maybe at the end of the day I will keep building up to see how much you can build it and whether you can completely eradicate that. Um, but when my face is sitting at a normal angle, I don't see anything, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup. And then we'll see what happens throughout the day. Right, we're back for a quick eye check-in. So it is ten past four. So we've had five hours and... It's not the nicest day and I was out with Flynn for a bit. But anyway, let's have a look at how the two sides are doing. So this is the RCMA and a little bit of creasing. I'm going to buff that out and a little bit of creasing on this side as well. So wear wise in terms of creasing, they look pretty even. The brightening effect is still visible in this eye compared to this eye so that's good. And yeah I just wanted a wee quick check in and you know what? My nose is a tiny bit shiny. 
Will we be brave? Will we try this on my nose? I kind of wish I had a mirror if they're talking about touching up with it. Um, I don't know that I like that. I mean, it's matte, but a lot of the time I'll use either a completely translucent powder or one that's tinted to my skin tone rather than tinted to be brightening because my foundation wears away a bit sometimes with the amount of oil my skin produces and yeah it's sometimes better if it um, if it has no colour or if it camouflages itself which that did not do so yep we'll be back in a bit and we'll see how it's continuing to hold up right so it is now 11 and the clock is chiming away in the background so I have got a little bit of smudging under my eye. I'm going to try and clear that up um, on both sides, to be fair. Um, yeah, so I still think this side looks a little bit better. And we're going to do what we said we were going to do. We're going to try and see what happens when we build this up, because why not? Um, I already tried it for setting my face earlier, was not a fan, um, but at the moment I am kind of a fan of this for the under eye. I might finally have reached the stage where, yeah, having a separate under eye powder seems like a good idea and this £8 product has been the one to do it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just touching that up, it looks so pretty. Doesn't look that pretty up close, to be honest with you, because my foundation had wore away a bit. And oh my god, this brush is doing my head in. I thought it was the same as my powder brush with the flowers on it that are wearing off. Because it is a Kiko brush. Same one, I thought. Same brand, you know, same brand that's powder brush that's that shape. But it feels nothing like it, and it's shedding like nobody's business. Um, maybe if I clean it a couple of times, it'll be friendlier. Um, so, I don't think this is going to build up. On the plus side, it doesn't really look cakey yet. So that's quite handy to know. Beginner friendly, as it were, you know, you don't need to worry about overloading it because I am loading the bejeebus out of it just now. And... Okay, actually there is some kind of build up of the brightening effect. Ooh. Okay. Uh huh. And I'm just gonna show you the texture as well so that you know. <laughs> okay. Well, that has just firmly landed into the yes, yes, go buy this. It's eight pounds. <laughs> um, depending on your taste, you might like it for setting all over your face. I don't, but for my under eye, oh my god, I have, I have been converted. I will now have a separate powder for my under eye. I mean, back when I was still okay with buying Laura Mercier stuff, I tried the secret brightening powder and didn't use it. Didn't get on with it. But this, oh my god. Hello. Hmm. I might be tempted to have it in my bag, even though I don't want to use it for general touch-ups, to re-brighten under that during the... Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, so this is absolutely firmly in the goodbye category. I need to calm down. If you've got any questions about this, leave them down below and I will get back to you. And yeah, if you've liked this video, click the like button. It helps me out and all that jazz. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.